What I want to talk about is one of my favorite topics, which is digestion. And this is what I specialize in. Uh, digestion is, as you know by now, stress-induced. Now, under stress, the stomach uh, acid e gets impaired. It either uh, in increases or it decreases. In either case, it's going to throw off the digestion. Uh, food, again, does not get digested properly, and this will affect the lining in the intestine called the mucosal barrier. Uh, and this can be, the barrier can get irritated and inflamed. This is really important to know because most people don't realize most of your nutrients get absorbed in the small intestine. So if the barrier, if you have a digestion problem, if you're under stress, the barrier starts to get compromised. Your mucosal barrier is your first line of defense for your immune system. So again, very, very important to, to look at and to, um, to hopefully get rid of the inflammatory reactions. What we need to look at are the villi and the microvilli in the, in the barrier because these are what make, when you're eating food and breaking down the food into nutrients, this is what the nutrients need to go through to go through the body or go into the body in a proper in a proper way so the body can get the nutrients it needs. So in essence, you're stressed out, your barrier is inflamed, the intestinal lining is inflamed, the the villi and the microvilli can get destroyed. In essence, what's happening is you're not getting the nutrients you need. So what do you think is happening? You're, you're almost starving your body. So eventually, a disease is going to occur. So again, very, very important to get that digestion uh, taken care of and, and the mucosal lining healed. Uh, so how, one of the ways we do this uh, is to look at the infections and look at all the things that we've talked about in the previous uh, videos so uh, that you will start uh, absorbing more nutrients. Now some of the uh, symptoms of nutrient or lack of nutrients can be depression, it can be that you, you overeat, uh, you're bloated, constipation, diarrhea, I know that seems to be a theme of my whole uh, uh, business here, uh, and also we're more tired, we have more fatigue, we can't think clearly, uh, we have hot flashes. And let's consider this, Let's say you're eating a piece of chicken, and let's say you're under stress, and you don't have much time to chew your food, which is very important when we're talking about digestion. So the protein, the chicken protein, is not really broken down that well into what we call amino acids, and you need it broken down into amino acids so it can go into the villi, which goes into the cell and creates better nutrition. So. Amino acids, again, are very important for brain function, uh, to help you sleep deep at night, uh, to help you with any anxiety and depression. Uh, those of you that are ve vegetarians need to be very careful about your protein amounts and make sure that you're getting what you need. You may feel fine at first and maybe five years, ten, ten years down the road, you start having problems because you're not getting the proper amount of protein delivered to where it needs to go to create good, healthy uh, muscle tissue and, and brain function. Again, it takes a year to two years to heal that mucosal barrier. So it does take time. This is not a miracle cure. Uh, again, my nutrition plan addresses these issues uh, through diet and uh, supplementation. Uh, and um, I think it's a great program. And what you'd like to do, uh, if you want to find out more about the program, you could read on my website and also give me a call and make an appointment for the nutrition interview. Thank you.